Okay, sir. Um, back to our, our last case, uh, subject property on Madison Highway, currently zoned general commercial. There's an operation that was there for some for some time known as uh, really like a tire retail operation. They moved out, the existing building sat vacant, new operator moves in and realizes, yeah, they want to do the tire retail, but they also want to be able to do tire, well, automotive repair. For staff, it's workable, but they needed an additional zoning change to get there. They need a highway commercial to go into auto repair. They don't need just general commercial. So we worked with um, the applicants to come back with a survey and a site plan that you have a copy of in your packet that shows um, the proposed zoning line, which is mostly CH with a border of about 50 feet of general commercial. Um, you can see from the aerial that there's a pretty good natural vegetative buffer there. So ultimately what staff came back with was approval with three conditions. Um, those three conditions were related to number one, keeping an undisturbed buffer there against those residences. Number two, trying to get them to combine the property somehow, as you can see the existing property lines go through that building. That just needs to be reconfigured. And the third condition was Basically, don't access those dirt drives unless you want to pay them. And so those conditions were from planning and engineering. Um, overall, the applicant's agent um, was certainly okay with the first two conditions about buffering and the survey. They were hesitant about the third condition. Um, honestly so, I don't think the applicants have any intention of accessing those dirt roads, but we believe the condition is necessary, especially if you talk about truck or commercial traffic. Um, so we would like to move forward with that, but I think they had concerns about the third condition. My response to that would be, if you don't want to pave those roads, don't put an engineering or a driveway access onto it. We don't think they do. <coughs> so there's some movement on that third condition, but ultimately staff's recommendation is for approval. We think those are very, very possible, very reasonable to make this happen. Any questions for staff? Jason, thank you very much. There being no questions, anyone here decide? Tonight, wishing to speak in favor of this request, come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request, come forward at this time. There being none, anyone here tonight wishing to speak in opposition of this request, come forward this time. Anyone wishing to speak in opposition? There being none. Commissioners, any discussion on this request this evening? There being none, I will take a motion this time. Mr. Chairman, go ahead. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion on um, REZ 2018-03 that we accept um, the application with the conditions as recommended by staff. Okay, I've got that. Do I have a second? I've got a second for Commissioner Williams in discussion on the motion. If you need none, I'll ask all in favor of the motion to sit by raise your right hand. And Ms. Cormel, also, Jason did a great job on that. Thanks, sir. 